Hi Stampers, it's Meg from Love and Stamps and I have a Weather Together project to share with you uh, for Stamps in the Mail Club this month. This is our cute little box and it's kind of a nice size. The bottom is about, uh, let's see, it's about three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches square um, and it uses a four by eleven piece of designer series paper, in this case envelope paper, to make the, the box itself. So these are really quick and really simple and I had a really good time learning this project. I learned it from my friend Lindsay when I went to visit her demonstrator meeting in Edmonton, Alberta, which is in Canada. So, um, hello to all my Canadian friends and let me show you how to make this really simple box which you will find yourself using all year long. So, let's get stamping. So we'll pull out our pieces here. There are also directions, printed directions with your Stamps the Mail Club kit. Um, but I think you're going to find this is really pretty simple, so you probably won't need them. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is take your 4x4 cardstock. And I have a cheat sheet here to help you remember what you're doing. So it's a 4x4 cardstock base, okay? You're going to score it at 3 quarter inches on each side. So score, 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 score. And then you're going to cut in at the corners. So it doesn't really matter which ones you do, but you're going to cut in one at each corner like this. Okay. All right. And then you're going to make your box bottom. So I'm folding on all those score lines. The wrap, since I have my cheat sheet here, the wrap is actually 4 by 11 inches. And this one I'm using a piece of the envelope paper, the... Um, envelope paper that comes in the in colors. You can also use designer series paper. It works great. And I have to tell you, I saw this project um, first when I went to visit my friend Lindsay um, Mann who lives in Edmonton and we went over Thanksgiving so I have like a quick photo um, to show you. So this is our trip. It was a little tiny plane from Seattle to Edmonton but we got there. Um, we went lots of places. This is, uh, Edmonton has these pyramids that are like indoor greenhouses with different biomes and so we went and visited those two. It's called the Muttart and so this is one of them. I don't remember which biome this is. Um, this is the one that was the desert and so forth. You can see the cactus, cacti, cactuses, cacti, anyway, cacti in winter in Edmonton, right? And then on Thanksgiving Day, we didn't have turkey because Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving in October, not uh, at the end of November like Americans. So on Thanksgiving, we had um, poutine, which my French Canadian friends tell me I should say is more like poutine with like a TS sound. Anyway, it was really good. Any excuse to eat french fries and gravy and cheese curds, right? <laughs> okay, and then here is a picture. Um, this is Lindsay in her studio. There she is teaching. She had um, asked if I would speak to her group when we were there, so that was a lot of fun. And she demoed this uh, a version of this project. There's a video that we made. You, <laughs> I won't show it to you uh, for our teams. And then I will show you this when we get to the end. So uh, fast fuse. I like to do mine this way, which is a little different from the way I was taught. But again, if you find a way that works best for you, just go for it. Um, so I'm going to take my fast fuse. I went all the way around. And then I'm just going to fold up at the corners to make my box. And really, uh, it doesn't matter if the tabs go inside or outside. Um, this is all going to get covered up. I put my tabs on the inside. but All right, so there we go. All right, so our box. The next thing I'm going to do is take my strip of um, envelope paper or designer series paper, and I'm going to start at one corner and match that up. Okay, so I'm pressing that in, and then I'm just going to turn it as I go and adhere it, keep it lined up at the bottom and adhere it there. Now when you get this third side done, you need to pause for a second. I know you just want to stick that last one down, but wait, because what you need to do is take your fast fuse, or you could use tear tape, um, and add to that last last one. And really, if you want to, to when it's easily open still, you can take your finger and I'm just pressing down on the bond there to make sure we get a good bond. Okay, so last side. And then with this last little bit that's left over, you're going to wrap it around, press it down there, and then you're going to press here so that you have a box. So you can call this what you want. I called it a square bottom box bag or, uh, I don't know, I kind of like that. It's catchy, square bottom box bag. Uh, you can close it. I have just a little clip here, a little clothespin that you can use to close it. You could tie a ribbon through it. You could do all kinds of different things. Um, the decor pieces for the Stamps the Mail Club version use the um, die cut pieces from the umbrella uh, weather framelits. 
and the pieces from the circles. And if you are watching this video in December and you don't have the layering circles framelits yet, you should quickly get them because they're normally $35 uh, and they are on sale for $17, which is a really amazing bargain. Uh, there are, what, 18 dies or something like that in here? Oh well, whatever. There's a bunch of them. 16 dies for, for each one. And the scalp circles and the circles all match. So. Uh, you can order online through my store and make sure you check out my stamp club to go for extra perks and um, that detail information is on my on my blog um, well it's on my blog it's also on my website so under stamp club to go all right so I'm gonna stamp on here and through the circle um, this is kind of a neat effect that um, has been kind of popular I have this attached now tricky be tricky business here on the ribbon go ahead and put some fast fuse across there Go ahead and fold your ribbon over in a pretty way and then place this here so that it doesn't stick through the hole. If it does, you'll have to trim it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add more adhesive there. I'm going to stick this down. Don't you love how the scallop circles and the circles match? I'm telling you, those layering circles framelits, and I bought mine at full price. So <laughs> just think, you'd be getting a great bargain. Uh, that's only through the end of December, and then they'll be back to the normal price, which is still totally worthwhile, but more expensive. So, all right, I'm going to add these little circles here to decorate the top of my umbrella. There we go. And then I'm going to use my uh, Island Indigo ink and this Love stamp, which fits beautifully across the top here, to add the word love to our umbrella. Oh, I should have put a mat under there, but hopefully it'll work out okay. Oh yeah, they work just fine. Okay, and then on the back I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional. And we will use that to hold our umbrella stick down. And then I think I'll probably just put another oh, one. One will work on there to finish off our little tag. And there we go. And then of course from your Stamps Mail Club kit you want to grab one of those. Um, the last heart that we have left there and attach that here. So uh, there's our bag. I have some other samples to show you. So this is the one for Stamps in the Mail Club. Uh, this is one that my club did uh, this week, which is using the Pop of Pink Designer Series paper. Um, this box is a little stiffer because it's the paper instead of the envelope paper, but they're both really sturdy. Um, that's what everybody said when they made it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how sturdy that is. Uh, this is the My Hero stamp set, which is the Ronald McDonald House set this year. And then um, Blushing Bride uh, string of sequins and then here's another version of it so if you had something really big that wouldn't fit in this box um, one solution would be to use this but don't um, clip it shut just clip your tag on the front and then you could have stuff that sticks out the top there so you could have sort of a big thing or like poofy paper or things okay and now here I do have one more thing to show you on here and that is these babies which are um, the sending love uh, framelits which are in the occasions catalog which doesn't start yet it starts on January 4th but you're gonna want these for your Valentine and all year long treats so this little tiny framelit is um, the same size there's an almond joy or something like that that fits perfectly in here um, and you're gonna use instead of a 4 by 11 strip for um, everything you're gonna use a 3 by 6 inch piece of DSP as your wrap for that oops and so there's you can see the fun project that we designed and then here is the other one there's another little envelope um, petite petal card kind of shape in there and it makes this one which is the perfect size for one little darling Hershey's Kiss and the wrap for that die is a two by four inch piece of designer series paper and when Lindsay demonstrated this at the meeting somebody said oh I bet you could use those little dies and make little tiny ones so we quick quick whipped those out Anyway, um, if you would like to request a Stamps in the Mail Club kit, please get in touch with me and I would love to get one out to you by mail. The kit includes the stamp set, Weather Together, as well as the three spots and a blender pen. If you already have a selection or all of those products, it's no big deal. Just send me a note and say, oh, I need to, trans instead of the Weather Together, I'd like this other stamp set that's also $21 or whatever. Um, 
is your trade. If you go over with your trade, I'll just send you a PayPal invoice for the difference. So it's really easy and I have people who switch stuff out all the time. Hope you have enjoyed this project and you're looking forward to making more of these super fun square bottom box bags. And I look forward to sharing more video tutorials with you. Happy stamping!